Hi, this is Kurt Barone, and welcome to another edition of File Law Roundup. So let's start off in Pennsylvania. Um, uh, or I'm sorry, Louisiana. Enough, Louisiana. Not, Louisiana. Not Pennsylvania. Louisiana. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Um, what's that? So what we're going to talk about today, what the Office of the Inspector General in Jefferson Parish, Louisiana, has found is a nationwide issue. Um, Kurt and I speak about some of these issues all the time. But what happened, what they found in Jefferson Parish, Louisiana, uh, the inspector general did a report and the OIG, Office of the Inspector General, OIG found that there's about $28 million of questionable spending by volunteer fire companies, including eight and a half million that the OIG concluded was uh, just misspent. Um, and this is a 10 year study between 13 and 23, they recommend some changes. Um, and, and I want to tell everybody here, right? If, if you haven't seen Kurt and I screaming about some of this stuff, um, you haven't been paying attention, but this goes a little farther and none of this is uncommon. Um, you know, we just spent, I obviously won't say who, but we just spent, uh, my office, uh, spent some time reviewing the financials, which we do all the time of a fire company. And it was shocking, well, not shocking, unfortunately, to see what places spend money on. So let me start with this point before I go through what the OIG found specifically, because none of this is um, shocking, right? But um, we have to keep the public's trust, whether you're a fire department, whether you're not. And you're going to hear that theme, public's trust, throughout this uh, you know, video today, uh, cause we're going to discuss another part, which talks about the public's trust, uh, in a very different context, but here the OIG pointed out things that are very common, right? So they started with, in this 23 page summary report talks about financial irregularities. And they say that there are financial irregularities because there's a lack of accountability by the fire companies. Now I think that's true, but I have to tell you the question we should start with is, who are we trying to be accountable to? And I think most of the fire companies, and don't get mad at me for attacking you, because right, if, if you're getting upset, you're probably one of the people with or one of the departments with problems, right? If you're if you're not upset, you're like, yeah, so what? So um the accountability we need to have is not to the fire company itself. Yes, that's part of it, but the accountability we need to have is to the public. So we have this attitude in the fire service that we want the public out of our finances. It's not their business, but it is, right? And if not legally, certainly as a matter of practicality, the public needs to trust us and they're giving their tax money to us and we then go and spend it on things. So the OIG's report looks at the things we spend it on and said, you know, look, we're paying bonuses, right? Now, they may or may not be right on paying bonuses. A municipality can't pay a bonus because it's what's called an unconstitutional gift of public funds. A private company could. but um, And then there's some other things. Now, I, and I want you to say that some of this isn't like, oh my God, how could they do that, right? But you have to understand it from the public's perception. So for example, um, use public funds to purchase flowers and pay for parties. Well, we call that respect and we call that um, you know, sunshine funds, right? We're taking care of those of us who are sick. Uh, so that may be the flowers things or congratulations, right? But it's showing that the fire company cares, but in the public's mind, th that's not the case, right? In the public's mind here, they're saying, how can you buy flowers, right? We want you to buy hoses, not flowers. Um, right. and I, I, I wanna, let me, yeah. Before we go too far, because I, I want folks to understand what's going on in, in this organization, because I think sometimes when career firefighters hear the term volunteer fire company, they're like, they'll roll their eyes up, oh boy, uh, and, and just hit fast forward, and they're not going to yeah. listen to this. And that's a mistake. These are, by and large, career departments. They're overseeing. They're basically, the employer is a volunteer fire company. And I'm sure at one time, each of these 12 entities was fully volunteer. They are no longer. The, the name still no says longer. volunteer. Right. And if you look at the report, they have the total number of career personnel and volunteers. Four of them don't have any volunteers. So yeah. basically, you have a volunteer fire company that has no volunteers. <laughs> okay, right. so and, and, and that makes a big difference here. 
Well, it does, but I, I think the, the principle that we're talking about goes beyond just volunteers and volunteer fire companies. Very good it, point. Goes, it goes to our credibility in the public's eye and the public at the end of the day controls the purse strings. Yes, through elected officials, but at the end of the day, and when they lose confidence in us, then we've got a bigger problem because then when we really need a new truck or we really need to replace hose or SCBA or whatever it is, we're going to have a problem with our messaging. Right. And, and that's, that can be fatal to some organizations. But here we, I, and I don't know because there are too, too many generalities. Were they saying, you know, well, you have no volunteers but you're buying flowers and having parties, right? Yeah, no, so, no, they did. They didn't say that. That it was right. just that that money was being misspent. It was public funds being spent on things like bonuses uh, and flowers and parties and but food and know, restaurants. And when you think about a volunteer fire company, historically they were not they were not funded through taxpayer money. They were funded through donations and you know. Uh, uh, ham and bean suppers and uh, you know what I'm saying? Pancake right. breakfasts and, and that, right. that's how they were funded back in the, you know, early 1900s. Well, you can't buy a million dollar engine with bake sales. You, you, you know, and we realize that. So now a lot of the practices, obviously the funding mechanisms have changed, but the thinking that it's our money and we can do what we want and we can, you know, give right. the middle finger to the elected officials and anybody who doesn't like the way we spend it. Now, that kind of mindset is problematic. And I think that's one of, the, I think, the big messages here. But but if I'm a volunteer fire, a true volunteer fire company watching this, I'm saying, wait a minute, we can't buy flowers and parties and go to restaurants and food. And I want to go through the rest mm -hmm. of the list. But sure. the answer is you can but you have to understand the public's view and it has to relate to recruitment retention, not, Hey, let's just go out for dinner, you know, on the, on the company's fund here. Right. There has to be some direct tie to recruitment retention or the volunteer fire service or whatever, for example. Right. So the, the OIG didn't like that the fire company spent money on food. Here's my thing. I would pay for every single meal of a volunteer firefighter or EMT if they're in the station. If they're in the station during lunchtime staffing the station, I would say support putting food in the station. If that's what it takes to get a volunteer there, then do it. So the OIG may have a very different view. I'm not uh, defending or attacking the OIG, but what I am saying is we better look at this from the public's uh, you know, viewpoint and be able to defend it. If it's just, hey, anyone who wants to go out to a restaurant on us for no reason whatsoever, take the money and go, well, that's different than... We, we stock the refrigerator so people will come and stay at the station, right? right. Um, but there's other things they went through. So, and I dispute for a lot of reasons, but they say like use public funds for non-employee expenditures like cell phones. Now that could be some ignorance because as we all know, companies like, you know, I am responding and a bunch of other apps, right? Mm -hmm. Are use our cell phone now is a tool. This is a tool. This is like our pager tells us, how to get to the call where the hydrants are, right? Notifies of, of the call. And it gives us access to pre pre uh, pre fire information. Yeah, pre in our uh, database. Yeah, right. I, and normal internal communications. I mean, so many things. Our phone is the pager of the you know twenty first century, right? So I don't know when they say cell phones here. Well, was it legit or not, or was it? the secretary and the treasurer who are volunteers who needed a cell phone or the president or the board of directors. I, I don't know, but you know, there are now when we transition to other things, for example, wasted public funds on late fees, I agree late fees or things like I see all the time sales taxes being paid, right? You can't do that. But this report is a report that nationwide we should be, because these issues are not about this parish in Louisiana, right? And the reason you put this up, obviously, is because these are widespread nation issues. But if you're upset about some of these, how can they say you can't pay money on some of these? Well, the answer is you may not be wrong spending money on some of these. On the other hand, you have to look at the public's perception and explain why you're doing it. Um, like the food, like the cell phone. It can all be seen in multiple ways. Um, 
there there was one weird one though i i i <laughs> that one of the parishes paid five million six hundred thousand dollars to a non-existent entity which yeah. is then transferred to a volunteer fire company that one shocked me yeah, a little bit uh, that that kind of threw me and this is a 23 page summary of what i assume is a much more in-depth right. investigative report right. that probably is not going to be released it's probably an exception to their public records uh, law but uh, that would probably have the details of that, but that that certainly um, caught my eye as well. Right, but I, I I guess I'll end this one by saying you need p departments need to bring in an outsider, like you or me. I'll be self serving here, but like you or me, and needs to go through the books and the expenditures. And I have a company that does this, right? Fire Service Financials, and and it's it, this is why we do this because you need to be looking at your expenses both from a professional's view, whether certain expenditures are appropriate or not. And you need to be doing it from the public's point of view so that when you're asked, you can either defend it or you can say that yeah, we stopped doing that one or the other. But it, it's very difficult to have your own insiders who are benefiting from this money come in and review your own expenditures in your books. You're not unbiased. So I, I I am encouraging the volunteer fire service. And look, here, if you're an employee, right, a total employee-based organization now, right. your same organization, to, to bring someone and conduct, it's not an audit, right? It's not a CPA's audit because um, they look at different things. It's really an appropriate, you know, a, a, a review to determine if the expenditures are appropriate, proper, et cetera. Because they, the, the OIG goes on and says that a lot of this is because there's not proper training for directors and officers. Um, and I will say, like, we, my firm, we just held a uh, training, a board of director training. The room was packed. We had to cancel it. We had 80 people there, and we didn't expend, expect that great of outcome, which is good. But it just shows this type of training is needed. And you and I, frankly, need to be do th doing this training throughout the nation. I will tell you, if you're a fire company, we should look at your – we have an upcoming bylaw session, um, which uh, they should look at your website for. And uh, what's the date of that again? Do you remember? Uh, November 30th, I think, yeah. Yeah, so it, this it's a, it, it's, that's an evening that. webinar too. Um, folks just looking at it may may miss that, but it's going to be at seven o'clock at night Eastern. So, right, and 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 the this, the topics we'll discuss there will go towards the comments that we don't have proper training and understand the law, but um, people do need to start getting training uh, on the responsibilities as directors and officers of a not for profit corporation, um, and that that will go a long way to help. Absolutely. And yeah, I think another big theme that I took out of this, um, these, the fire protection in this county or parish should not be delivered by volunteer fire companies. They're past that. Um, they should be consolidating and becoming municipal departments um, because, because of the amount of career personnel that they've got. And when you get into a municipality, municipal, most municipalities already have these financial control systems built in, whereas the volunteer fire companies don't. They've got to rely on their bylaws and, and a lot of the other things, which it's not impossible for a volunteer fire company to put them in. And I think your bylaws training is going to get to that. But the municipal, once you go to a municipality, you're under state law requirements for purchasing and so on, ethics and some other things that are you know going to, going to kind of take care of themselves once you're a municipality. And of course, you know, the volunteers and look, for, as everyone hopefully knows, Kurt and I are volunteers, right? We're not attacking volunteers. We right. have decades of, you know, volunteer experience, but this is just the reality of money's getting tighter. The public's getting smarter. The public is looking and what we got away with before isn't going to fly, whether it's intentional or just bad management. You need to start looking at your operations.